Uh, hello fellas. Right. I did do you a video pre-taking the engine out a couple of days ago, but I'd had too many beers. I couldn't, when I watched it back, I couldn't submit it. It was too shit. <laughs> but today, I've only had one beer. Right, now look. FM650. Uh, engine's up, as you can see. I think I showed you before, that shock is absolutely fucked. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, the swing arm, I think it's just surface rust, so we can clean that up. Just taking the wheel out. Now, apparently these bikes were made in Spain. Look at the state of that corrosion on there. So they are unsavable. The only thing that might be might have been savable was the hub. But uh, you remember I had the KTM I stripped down. Um, uh, so the KTM wheel fits in. I'm going to have to do a modification on the rear caliper because the one that was on there. See those um, the brackets that are on the swinging arm? This slid into that bracket, but because that is dead straight, it won't fit the KTM disc. Now, but the KTM connector, as you can see there, is offset slightly. So what I'll do is when I clean this up, we'll cut that off and we'll put a new bracket on to hold this on there. So the back wheel is sorted. Luckily, I'm such a twat because I threw away, I kept tripping over the KTM swinging arm, which would have looked the bollocks on here, I threw it away. Um, what a prick. And I think I threw away the shock absorber as well, I can't find that anywhere. Um, so I'm going to have to make do with this swinging arm, modify that brake to go on, that's not too big drama. Um, if I can't find that shock, I will have to get it source a new um, monoshock for here although I did see a video the other day where a guy had converted his dominator into twin rear shocks and it looked really smart so I might think about that and the cost of buying a new monoshock for here although you know I, the, the idea of this bike is going to be minimal work so I can get rid of it um, so that, that's the back end sorted. Now, I told you before this front end's coming off, and this is the triple trees, so I'm going to call them from now on, like the Yanks, off the KTM. Um, it all hinges on the, the stem compatibility for the bearings. Now, as I think I've done a video before, you might have seen it, it all depends on the outer size on the bearing here. You've got to measure the outer and the inner for your, your, your stem, um, if these bearings don't fit. And, uh, and then you phone the shop up and he tells you if he's got a bearing which has got an outer to fit your outer and the inner dimensions to fit your inner. Um, it might be quite easy on, I'm hoping, that because this is a newer bike than the old CX. You know, you're talking, this is only 20 years old, and I think they'd sort of, um, hold on, let me turn this fucking way. They'd, they'd standardise the size a bit better, I think, as time went on. Anyway, so that front end's coming off in the next five minutes, and then I'll have a better idea on if I'm going to be able to fit the whole front end of the KTM on because I've got the forks, the wheel, the mug guard, handlebars um, and then we're just going to have to see if we can take the ignition out of this one and fit into the KTM one which we might be able to because it's in virtually exactly the same position and um, that'll be, if that, that works the chances are it's not going to but um, if that works that'll be the bollocks and then we can transfer everything over and mock it all up, chop, and start chopping the frame, 
get all that mocked up before we do all the cleaning up. Um, it's pretty rusty. I might, I'm even thinking about going to the local machine shop down the road and see if he'll shot blast this frame and swing it on. You know, as the bike hasn't cost me anything. And the BMW's gone. Um, I bunged it on Facebook. It was. I thought, sorry, I'm going to bang it. I'm not going to put it all together if someone's going to take it apart for a calf racer. So I bunged it on Facebook. The chat came around and bought it. But I made a few quid on that to um, buy the parts. Now I'll tell you what I've got to do. As I mentioned on the on the latest video, is I bought the CG125 tank off eBay, and I bought one of these cheap seats. Uh, I must do a little video on both of those so you can see the quality. I'm going to use a word which I used in one of my last videos from the bloke off the motorbike show. Sublime. <laughs> the seat is fantastic quality for £19.68. But that's another video. Um, anyway, I'm not sure if the KTM um, pegs are going to fit on here because they all seem in a different position. I'm holding the camera in the wrong place. But um, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. They might be the rear pegs. Ooh, never thought of that. Anyway. That's uh, part three, I think. See you later.